Yes. All right. Looks like we're recording this for uh, future reference and to share with more folks later. Um, well, hey. So let me start by saying, welcome to welcome to the Bitcoin Lunch Party. Um, so hold on. Okay. So wherever you are, uh, obviously we're very glad to have you with us for this event. It's a very remarkable time uh, in the Bitcoin history, if you will, and the future. So whether you're here with us on the Zoom call or if you're joining us on Facebook or you're watching this recording later, um, on behalf of myself and the rest of the Bitcoin team, welcome to the Bitcoin <coughs> ecosystem. Uh, my name is Russ. I'll be moderating uh, the call today. And we are very fortunate to be joined by several of the other founders and officers of the Bitcoin Foundation, including the foundation president, Dr. Aaron Bazin, the foundation vice president, Mr. Alex Morales, our chief of technology, uh, Mr. Elmer Francisco, and a couple others to include Dr. Glover, uh, Miggy, and Brian. So at this time, I'd like Brian, if you will, to open us with the invocation. Good morning. Um, all right, bow our heads. Dear Lord, today we honor our veterans, worthy men and women, and their families who gave their best when they were called upon to serve and protect our country. We pray that you pray that you will bless them for their unselfish service and their continual struggle to preserve our freedoms, our safety, and our country's heritage for us all. In the Lord's name, amen. Thank you, Brian. Uh, a quick note for the folks that are attending. Um, we're going to have a question and answer section coming up here uh, during this launch. So if you do have a question that you'd like asked, please use the chat feature of the Zoom call to type out your question. And then when we get to that portion, I will go ahead and share those questions with um, whomever is best uh, positioned to answer your, your specific inquiries. Thank you. So with that, uh, I believe we're going to start or go to the United States National Anthem. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And I, 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 I'm going to be honest with you, every time I hear the national anthem, it gets me somewhere right around here. <laughs> uh, okay, so at this time, um, it is my very distinct pleasure to introduce the Vice President of the Vetcoin Foundation for opening remarks, Mr. Alex Morales. Over to you, Alex. Uh, thank you, Ross. <clears throat> and thank you, everyone, for taking the time and taking part of this launch. Um, Today is an excited day for the Beckcom team. Uh, but first of all, we want to recognize and remember our brothers and sisters deploying around the world. And we'd like to celebrate this Veterans Day in which it's the first time in 20 years that our military is not involved in a war. Uh, today we launched Beckcom, a cryptocurrency created by veterans civil servants and family members for veterans and the world. 
With Bitcoin, we strive to harness the power of cryptocurrency to connect, enable, and transform veteran communities. So please join us in serving those who serve. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. Now I'd like to introduce uh, the VetCoin Chief of Technology, Mr. Elmer Francisco. Uh, for those of you who may be new to the VetCoin system, Elmer and his team, they've really been uh, working diligently to bring the VetCoin vision that the founders had several months ago to life. So without any further ado, Elmer, please, if you could take the floor and kind of explain to folks on the call um, what VetCoin is, how it functions, and why they should be interested in the VetCoin ecosystem. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Russ. Then, first of all, uh, I want to show I want to show everyone and tell everyone why Vetcoin. So that's the question, because there are a lot of cryptocurrencies and tokens out there. Um, you can find more than forty thousand of them, but why Vetcoin? The very reason is, it's because. Um, we are on a mission. So let me just show my slide here. What's our mission? Because there's a problem here um, that we are uh, showing everybody. Um, throughout history, as people went off to war, their return changed, often not for the better. All things considered, it is a tragedy that today, when a service member takes off the uniform, they face life challenges that, in that include, first, 20% of veterans experience financial insecurity. So we come up with a solution. There's no one way to solve this problem, but we have our offerings. Um, we, have, we have our experiences that we can offer. Uh, we have extensive experience in social entrepreneurship. So um, here we are to apply this to uh, our veterans. One is to conduct free webinars for Vetcoin holders to educate them with both active and passive income opportunities. Another problem is one third have difficulty accessing capital. So when service members remove their uniform, they'll be integrated with the society, but they're having problems or uh, they lack the access to capital. Now with Vetcoin, they will have a solution, an alternative. We're in one of our solutions or four of our solutions are to operate a startup incubator, operate a startup accelerator, offer angel investments for startups, offer venture capital for startups, and the list goes on. It doesn't stop there. Later on, we will show something about the startup incubator. Another problem, veteran-owned businesses lack market presence. There are over 2.5 million veteran-owned businesses or merchants, um, business, businesses that are, that are owned by veterans, but they lack market presence. Now here, our solution is that we offer closed-loop online storefronts, offer closed-loop payment system, offer closed-loop marketing strategies, offer closed-loop supply chain and logistics. You'll see a lot of closed loops here. Uh, there's a reason for that. The reason is um, we will bring out the best um, in our ecosystem, um, wherein if there are 10 uh, stores um, side by side selling bottled water, one is owned by a veteran. Of course, with our closed loop ecosystem, everybody would be buying from that one store. All of the nine would be surprised. Why are, why are they all buying there? Little did they know that it's a veteran. So here we are coming together for a common goal. 
Another problem is about 1.5 million veterans are homeless. So the solution here is we offer affordable housing, offer lighter financing terms, and it doesn't stop there. Uh, we also tap um, other char charitable organizations uh, that are already there that are helping uh, the veterans. So we can also help them financially or with manpower. Another problem is 41% experience medical and mental health issues. One solution is to hire an in-house in -house diverse pool of medical pr practitioners to conduct online consultations and affordable treatments. Another one is offer assistance for medical insurance. Another one is build health centers in strategic locations. One very important uh, project that is close to my heart is um, donating prosthetics or artificial limbs like the one in the photo, because this is something that we have been doing for uh, a number of years now. We have been able to help many people who were amputees and we are giving them a second chance or another chance uh, in life to be more productive members of society. <clears throat> another problem is 44% have difficulty transitioning to civilian life. The solution is to create a skills inventory and a strong bond and support groups with diverse interests among Vetcoin holders. So those are just some. Um, you will see a lot of uh, a lot of other reasons why we are doing this. So that's those are just a few of the reasons uh, and answers to why Vetcoin, because we are on a mission. We are not just here to uh, bring out a token or a coin or a cryptocurrency to the market and just disappear. So we are here on a mission because we are not doing this um, to earn a lot of money, just like other cryptocurrencies out there. We are doing this for a purpose. And that purpose is to help the veteran communities and military families and everybody in that community. So our solution is Vetcoin. So what is Vetcoin? So most of the information here are in our uh, white paper. I'm just highlighting and elaborating those that are very important or extremely important for everybody to know. Um, what's the difference uh, between Vetcoin and other tokens out there? First, Vetcoin will provide secure, military grade, and fully trans transparent blockchain enabled cryptocurrency and a suite of services built by veterans committed to connecting, enabling, and transforming veteran communities, as said by Alex a while ago. So our value proposition is to connect, enable, and transform. Here, um, we, we will be able to connect veteran communities, uh, those who are in active service and also military families, because we will also be having our very own app. Now we are using commoditized technologies. It, it means we are using what is already there uh, that we could leverage on what we could use. Um, wherein these technologies are, many people are already using them, but we are also developing our own Vetcoin app. It's a mobile app that you can use um, with iOS and Android and also browser. So we are doing that right now. So here we will be able to connect um, veteran communities. So um, they will be able to find their old bodies and maybe find merchants that are offering military discounts and many more. Enable, um, like what I uh, showed you earlier, our mission, uh, we are enabling veterans to become more productive members of society after they serve the country. So after they fought the war or, or uh, did their tour of duty offshore, when they come home, we will help them. We will enable them. We will empower them to be able to set up or put up their own businesses. And not only that, 
they will be able to hire a lot of people and will be able to transform lives by donating to charities because there are plenty of charities out there that are supporting our veterans. So um, here we will have another means to donate to those charities. So we are also focusing on the core values uh, of VetCoin, which is service. So I will not read through those so that you will have a reason to read our white paper. So let me go to the deployment plan uh, in our um, white paper. So the website was launched uh, last Independence Day, July 4th. Uh, it was completed. And uh, our website is online. So it's vetcoinhq.com. So everybody's welcome to visit our, our website. Then we have phase one, phase two, and phase three. In phase one, we have completed all of these. So um, we are building a robust community. So complete legal structure, white paper, marketing plan, and outreach plan. Um, for the information of everybody, uh, we have registered the VetCoin Foundation as a nonprofit uh, company um, at Delaware. So we have outreach, outreach plan um, because we are planning to um, donate to charities every Veterans Day, every year, and hopefully also in between. So, but what we commit is that every Veterans Day, every year, um, we will be donating, we will be choosing um, charities um, where we're doing this in uh, honor of Bud Burrell. So if you don't know Bud Burrell, um, you can see it in our white paper. Our white paper is also in our website. So it's available to everybody. So um, we, had, we had a logo means, the token, smart contract development, we have all of those. So uh, it was checked already. So at phase two, um, our tokens and our smart contracts pass audit. Um, they're, they're already on, in the blockchain. So we announced the pre-sale to key partners. So we started the pre-sale just last November 1. Then we listed on OpenC and vetcoinhq.com, our website. Um, for the, that's for the pre-sale. And now we are on public sale. So uh, the target date was November 11, uh, which is today. So we are now on public sale. So that's phase two. Now for phase three, it becomes more and more exciting. Um, where we will, we will launch uh, our VetCoin app 1.0 or our MVP, Minimal Viable Product, wherein you'll be able to um, use that app, the VetCoin app, to do simple transactions. So this will be used by our merchants. We will onboard merchants that are veteran-owned uh, businesses. Uh, of course, we are also welcoming those businesses that are not owned by veterans. Uh, this will be all inclusive and not only merchants, but also services. So you'll be able to pay for services using VetCoin, VetCoin and VetCash using our VetCoin app. So um, here uh, we'll also be welcoming user feedback. We also have a, um, a subscription to our newsletter. It's, on, it's in our website. Um, if you want to give suggestions or feedback, um, you can subscribe to our newsletter as well. Um, when our moderator had been uh, giving very uh, good reading materials uh, in our newsletter, of which <laughs> I myself am I'm reading it. So man, some of the information came from me, but I enjoy reading it when Russ sends it. <laughs> so <clears throat> not only the newsletter, but also it will also begin the development of VetCoin NFT game. So now many of you, uh, actually there are hundreds already uh, who are engaged with this. Um, we are not using technology to replace people or replace humans. We, we are using technology to make lives easier. 
So that's one of the goals here. And uh, we are, we are, though we are automating some simple processes, the goal here is to connect. So we do not want to automate everything. We want to connect people. Uh, of course, our priority are the veterans uh, and military families. But of course, this is open to everybody. And our point is to connect. So for the game, uh, this is how it works. Uh, I will not give too much details uh, because the excitement is still there. Uh, I want to keep the excitement uh, up there in the air, but uh, let me just give you a, sam a sample of this. So here now we are already giving out um, honorary ranks uh, for everybody who, who buys Vetcoin or uh, those who receive airdrops of Vetcoin. We are already giving them um, honorary ranks for all six branches of uh, military service, uh, namely Army, Marines, Navy, Air Force, Coast Guard, and of course we have we have a lot coming in for Space Force. So um, this will get really exciting within the next couple of months uh, because we will be launching all of those within a couple of months. So uh, then we will be launching the VET app 2.0, wherein we will have more features. So there will be messaging features as well. Um, here, of course, in, in our app, um, you can carry the VET coin, the VET cash, and you can exchange your VET coin and VET cash. And uh, we will be listing uh, VET coin as well uh, with other exchanges. So. Um, now we have been in talks uh, with uh, many different exchanges, um, but of course it's still pre preliminary. And um, next is um, we will hold votes uh, for, of course, the token holders will vote on uh, what charities we will choose uh, to support. Uh, of course, it's uh, as I mentioned, it's it's a dedication to Austin Bud Burrell. So we will award that non we will award um, this uh, help to those charities. And we will do it every uh, uh, November 11 every year during Veterans Day. So then we will launch the Vetcoin NFT app or game. Now, Tactical plans. Um, this is what we have been doing and what we will be doing within the next couple of days. But of course, uh, it just keeps on getting better. Um, here, I will explain something here. So many of you already know about Ethereum. So uh, Ethereum is a network in the blockchain. Um, wherein we can create smart contracts, we can automate simple processes and enable cryptocurrencies, tokens, fungible tokens, non-fungible tokens, uh, utility tokens. So um, th this is how it works. Now um, we are using for Vetcoin the Polygon blockchain, a Polygon network, which is a layer two uh, solution to scale uh, to scale up um, Ethereum. The reason behind it is um, if we use the layer one Ethereum, gas fees are really high. Gas fees are transaction fees. So, like for example, if you will if you will spend a dollar for to buy something, if you use Ethereum now, you'll be paying twenty dollars of transaction fee for something that you'll buy for a dollar. But if we use Polygon as, as the layer two solution, you won't be paying that much or maybe none for now. So that's why we're using the Polygon layer two solution uh, for now. Now, if, if you see on the lower left, um, these are the payment systems that we had been using for the pre-sale. Uh, we used PayPal. Uh, we, use, we, we haven't included here the cash app. Uh, we've been using it as well. 
um, and we will, we will be using it more and more in the near future. But of course, Ethereum and Bitcoin are always available for payments. So these are very important things. Um, like what I mentioned a while ago, we are using commoditized technology. Commoditized technology meaning they're already there. They're being used by the public and we are using them in such a way uh, we created a system to integrate all of them um, so that um, we can leverage from them. Now, our platform of choice is OpenSea now. So OpenSea is the first and the largest marketplace of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. But OpenSea now is not just about non-fungible tokens because technology is evolving. Like Ethereum, um, it, there used to be a time when all tokens were ERC-20. ERC-20, it's a, it's a technical term, but uh, it enables uh, coins or payment payment systems like um, like ethers and many other uh, coins that are being used for payment out there. So they're uh, in the ERC twenty protocol, and uh, the NFTs or uh, the non fungible tokens like works of art, collectible items, um, collectible cards, they are being used. Uh, under the ERC721 protocol. So those are called the gold standards of uh, fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. But there is this new technology or the latest uh, protocol in the Ethereum blockchain network, which is called ERC1155. ERC1155 um, enables both fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens. So this opens a big market for OpenSea. So why did we choose OpenSea? Because OpenSea is already uh, enabled for ERC-1155 for the latest technology. So many others are, are trying to develop their systems, but OpenSea, you can already see your uh, tokens, both fungible and non-fungible um, uh, in OpenSea. So anyway, um, for those who don't know the difference between fungible and non-fungible tokens, um, we will have video or infomercials about that and infographics um, in our social media and also in our website um, because our design team, our graphics team, our tech team, they're working almost 24 hours uh, to make all of these available to you. Don't worry, we will help you. We will make it as painless as possible. So here, OpenSea is just a platform or it's it's like a window where you can see your tokens, uh, both fungible and non-fungible. Um, but to the right, to the upper right, um, these are the wallets that we have been using, MetaMask and Trust Wallet. So for now, because I'm saying for now, because later on we'll have the Bitcoin app. Uh, our own mobile app where you can do all of these, all of uh, everything, everything in this uh, slide, you can do it inside our app and more. So here we are using MetaMask and Trust Wallet as security as a service because you're, you're using MetaMask and or Trust Wallet or any, any other um, wallets out there uh, that are compatible with OpenSea. So, uh, it's highly secured because your tokens, your vet coins, your vet cash, your honorary ranks, um, they're not stored in OpenSea. They are stored in MetaMask or in your wallet uh, that is highly secured and, encrypt and encrypted. So they are not stored in OpenSea, they are stored in your wallets. But for now, because MetaMask and uh, Trust Wallet are still developing their systems, uh, and doing systems integrations uh, with the Polygon network, with the Ethereum network, with OpenSea. You cannot manipulate your tokens yet now uh, in the user interface of MetaMask or Trust Wallet. You cannot yet. But in OpenSea, you can. You can do transfers. You can, uh, you can view it. You can check it out. So here on the lower right side, uh, one of our plans is to 
um, make a tie up with the US Department of Veterans Affairs, um, mainly uh, so that we could reach more veterans, we could help more veterans. And the two key uh, factors here are the SSO or single sign on, because we want this secured. So we want, um, we want this to be very easy for every veteran. So we don't want uh, people to be <laughs> having a hard time just to access our system. So we want to make it as painless as possible. So we want to make it as simple as possible and as easy to use as possible with the lowest cost possible. And what is a veteran key pair? So veteran key pair. So we just added the word veteran because it's for veterans. But the key pair is um, your public key or public address or and your private key. Your public address or your Ethereum public address is a bunch of numbers and letters uh, that you can give to someone uh, for them to be able to pay you. Then the other one is the private key. You do not give it to anybody. So if you will give it to anybody, just give it to me. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, do, not, do not give it to anybody because if not anybody, uh, that anybody will have access to all of your cryptos, to all of your money, to all of your NFTs and everything. So I will not discuss here the differences and the other many other different uh, NFTs or fungible tokens. We will do it in some other uh, at some other time. So going to the next. Um, okay, <clears throat> on the left, these are our fungible tokens, the VET coin and the VET cash. So on the right. These are our non-fungible tokens. So these are the military ranks, the honorary ranks that we are giving uh, as NFTs or non-fungible tokens. Okay. So we here, um, if you buy a VET coin or VET coins, you will be promoted to a rank of a private if you if you choose to be associated with the army. So our private first class, if you, you'll be uh, associated with the Marines or, or Seaman Apprentice for Navy and Airman for uh, Air Force and Seaman Apprentice for Coast Guard. So we are yet to add Space Force here, but uh, our, team are, uh, our team is already working on it. So you'll be given an NFT honorary rank when you have vet coins. So you will, you will just have to choose um, in what branch of military service you would want to be associated with. Then these are, uh, the promotions are based on our rules of engagement. So it's in our next slide. <clears throat> okay, the rules of engagement. So I will not read all of these, I'll just explain them. So the first, uh, the first uh, line is that um, we minted already uh, both VETCOIN and VETCASH. Um, the difference be between the two is that VETCOIN is a store of value. So it's not like any other regular tokens out there that are going up, going down, and going sideways or down the drain. So uh, VETCOIN is not like that because VETCOIN is a store of value. So uh, what does that mean? Um, because many tokens out there are just there for speculation, but VETCOIN will be asset backed. What are, what, what, what's the asset uh, that is backing the VETCOIN? Because we will have um, solid businesses behind it. So um, we will be VETCOIN later on, will not just be based on market value or based on speculation or market forces, supply and demand. Of course, it has an effect, but um, our plan is to back it with book value. Uh, it will be backed by, uh, in simple terms, net worth. 
its assets less liabilities. So it will be solid. But um, we will also have vet cash. Vet cash will be used for daily transactions. You'll be using vet cash to buy products from from veteran-owned businesses, or and and other and other stuff, other things. So um, honorary insignia NFTs. I already explained that. So we will be giving those. Um, there would be uh, certain levels. And uh, if you want to be a one-star general or two-star generals, and you don't want to go through the excitement uh, of uh, working through and going through the rats, you can simply buy them. <laughs> so we will have rates. Um, but of course, uh, you will really have to pay. <laughs> but uh, you, will miss, you will miss all the excitement because each and every NFT, every time we get promoted, there is an unlockable content. It's an encrypted secret message wherein it contains your mission. You will have a secret mission uh, that you will have to uh, accomplish in order to get promoted to the next rank. So see, if you'll just buy your uh, high rank, you will miss all the excitement. So anyway, it's really up to you. So we'll go to the next. Okay, this is the honorary chain of command. So I will not uh, go into full details because we will also explain this in our social media. And uh, these are also explained in the uh, secret missions. So in military terms, it's classified. So <laughs> it's for you to find out. So we're giving you a glimpse of uh, what's here and it's classified. So all of the secret missions are classified. They're secret. So only those who are um, the real owners of those NFT ranks will have will have access to those unlockable contents. So you'll be able to uh, read your secret missions. So maybe some of you here um, already uh, have received their secret missions. So they're, they're pretty, pretty simple, but um, as you go higher, it gets a little harder, but more fulfilling. So it really gets exciting. Now we're doing it uh, in such a way that excites the public, but later on, it will be more exciting with the app, uh, with Vetcoin app. So you will be going to places, you'll be meeting people, you will have to scan their QR code, you'll have to do uh, some stuff. Um, like what I said, one of our uh, objectives is to connect people, not to alienate people or not to uh, be on their own. Um, you will experience teamwork, you will connect with old buddies or um, old friends or old flings. <laughs> so it's really up to you. But uh, this is the honorary chain of command. So going to the next slide. Okay, so speaking of the tokenomics, um, <clears throat> our main pool, 100%, uh, um, it's 1 trillion 61 billion 417 million 750 thousand. Um, uh, many of you uh, would think, where did we get this uh, number? So it's actually to commemorate the uh, establishment of the United States Armed Forces, which is June 14, 1775. So uh, that's the reason behind it. So um, then the token allocation for marketing and app development is 18%. Pre-sale is 25%. Dev team or development team, 15%. Public sale is 38%. And of course, we will not forget the rewards because these are all for you. Um, everyone who are in this um, uh, virtual launch and also uh, in our 
uh, live streaming and uh, those who will wa watch the recording uh, of the virtual launch, you will have to um, uh, comment on our social media, your Ethereum wallet, so that we will give you free bet coins. Those are called airdrops. So we also created um, Facebook groups for each of the 50 states. So, um, so wherever you're located, and we also have um, global, uh, Bitcoin global. So uh, now, uh, this is the last slide actually. Uh, we are now going, uh, I'm going to turn over uh, to Russ uh, for our virtual launch. Thanks, Elmer. So if everybody saw in the chat room, I just posted that it's 1111 11 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so this marks the official launch of the Vetcoin ecosystem. And the reason we chose this time is simply because today's Veterans Day, which is also known as Remembrance Day or Armistice Day, depending on where you live in the world. And it marks the end of the First World War in 1918, which if you remember your history lessons ended um, the, at the 11th hour on the 11th day of the 11th month. So in keeping with that theme, uh, you may have noticed the Easter egg on some of our social media accounts where we also use 11-11 uh, as a moniker. Um, it's all about uh, the symbolism of uh, Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, or Armistice Day. So um, that's, that's why, that's why we chose this time. And we are now into the uh, question and answer section. So some folks have been asking questions and the foundation board members have been answering them in real time. However, uh, there are folks who are going to see this that don't have the luxury of the Zoom chat. So what I'd like to do is run through the questions, even though they've been answered uh, for those that are viewing this either through Facebook or via a recording later. So the first question um, was about missing uh, purchase during the pre-sale. And the, the, the the question basically is, is there any way I can still purchase Metcoin now or do I need to wait? So uh, Aaron, if you could answer that question, please. Yes, uh, so you still uh, can purchase Metcoin on the website. Uh, BetcoinHQ.com is the best place to go uh, to do that. So uh, if you go to that there, you'll see the link for the sale um, and, you can, and you can purchase it there. And we're going to have the public sale open for the next six months. Um, so get the word out and you, you'll be able to go there and get it uh, during that time. Okay, thank you. And uh, this next question, I'm going to offer this to Elmer. Uh, you did mention it in your comments, but just as a recap of the question, where can, uh, where can people find the white paper? I believe you're muted, Omar. There we go. Okay, uh, I was trying to unmute, so I, I don't know what happened. <laughs> so anyway, the white paper is at our, at our website. Uh, it's vetcoinhq.com. So you can easily find it um, in the upper menu. We also have a light paper. So if you don't want to read all through the pages, we have a concise version, the light paper. Thank you. That actually were the two questions that came up in the chat. We do have a couple questions um, that come up frequently when we have discussions about Bitcoin. Um, I know I've gotten questions from my family members and friends, and I know the other founders have as well. So there's a couple things that we might refer to as frequently asked questions that I'd like to go through. And the first one I'm gonna offer to you, Aaron, um, could you tell us how did Bitcoin start and where the idea came from? So the, 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 the original idea of Vetcoin, um, if, we, uh, if we trace it back, it goes to 2018. Uh, Dr. Ahmad Glover uh, had originally had the idea and uh, created the idea. And then about a year ago now, or eight, nine months ago now, uh, Russ, I'm sure you remember me and Joey and 
a couple others were around the water cooler literally at work you're like hey you know cryptocurrency is really taking off it's doing a lot of great things but there's a lot of seems like a lot of scams out there a lot of uh coins without real value propositions without real um any any way to give back and we're like well what if what if we took they started with the idea of what well, if we took an idea of cryptocurrency and harness that for the veteran community to give back in some way. Uh, so we found Ahmad, uh, reached out to Ahmad, and he was moving down to Florida. So we met up with him, um, got uh, in with him, and then over the past uh, about five or six months, been forming the board, uh, getting our, our organization together, establishing our bylaws, and, and getting everything uh, up and going. And a big part, we brought Elmer in, uh, who's really helped us. He's launched uh, a bunch of coins uh successfully in the past and uh uh we built that's that's pretty much the story so it's literally around the water cooler uh veterans connecting to each other and then deciding to make it try to harness cryptocurrency and make a difference so thanks aaron uh elmer i have a question for you um for, during your presentation you talked about how bitcoin was going to help businesses and perhaps provide some some sense of uh, investment or assistance or help. Could you kind of talk a little bit more about how Bitcoin intends to help uh, veteran businesses and veteran friendly businesses? Okay, so I'll go back one slide. Um, here's one uh, thing that we're doing. So this is called Startup Challenge. So it's just a slogan that boots the business, but it's practically a startup challenge where um, like what I mentioned earlier, um, veterans, um, many veterans have, uh, are, are having difficulty accessing capital. So we're doing an incubation program uh, where um, we, we'll have a contest. They will have to submit um, their decks. Um, we, we will post again the mechanics or the rules of engagement um, but we extended the deadline for the submission to December 11. So that's December 11, 2021. It's a Saturday. So that's the deadline for the submission of um, the six slide deck. So it doesn't have to be so long. So uh, they can simply submit, submit them to operations at vetcoinhq.com. So we will uh, put that put that email address in our social media where all veterans can participate. And um, we will choose um, maybe four to five of them to present. So we'll be screening them, uh, the most deserving businesses. Uh, we'll be screening them, then there, there will be two winners. Two veterans will be receiving up to $5,000 um, and 100 million vet coins. Uh, to start a business. So um, th that would be uh, a good way to help veterans get started uh, with business. Then we will not just give them the money, we'll be teaching them how to do it, how to get it off the ground. Um, it's basically an incubation program. Then we will inject uh, accelerator program uh, to scale the business. Then we will bring in venture capitalists, angel investors, and uh, to further scale the business. So that's one of uh, what we are immediately doing. Okay, thank you. All right, so the next question, I'm gonna ask the Foundation Vice President, Alex Morales. So Alex, uh, Bitcoin looks very centric about the United States. Is this Bitcoin effort open to non-veterans or folks that aren't in the US? Hey, thanks, Rob. Absolutely, uh, it is open to anyone that want to support veterans. Uh, it started in the United States, of course, because we, we are all vets from the U.S. Army or the United States Armed Forces. However, uh, as you and everybody know this, a lot of veterans or U.S. veterans around the world, you know, we call it expats. But also the idea is uh, once we continue to grow, uh, we can include other services foreign services to do the mix as well. So that's the goal, it's, it's, it's not a US centric, however, it's for everyone that I want to support veterans. Over. Thanks, Alex. 
So uh, Dr. Bazin, Aaron, I'm gonna ask you another question. Um, for those that have been uh, paying attention to VetCoin, they've probably noticed by now that we have uh, a foundation in the United States and a technical effort in the Philippines. Could you kind of talk to people and explain why we chose that as our approach to, vet, to the VetCoin ecosystem? Yeah, that's a good question, Russ. What we really want to do is, uh, I mean, our, our sort of core purpose and our core values, and I'll talk about this a little later, but we were really want to create something that gave back to vets, and that's where our hearts truly are. Um, and us on the board uh, of directors for the nonprofit, that's where we'll really be focused. So we see VetCoin, um, the development, technical development, uh, we wanted to find someone that was equally committed, and we found that in Elmer but then also had the technical skills to bring that to fruition. Someone that had launched a token before. Um, and Elmer, he hasn't, he hasn't mentioned this, but I'll mention this about him. He's a real humble guy. Um, there's a, a, the public transportation system uh, in the Philippines basically runs on a token that Elmer created um, a couple of years ago. So it, we wanted someone experienced. We wanted someone we could trust. Um, and we found, that, we found that in Elmer. So what we'll be focused on primarily here in the States um, is the, the award process of finding and recognizing the best veterans uh, organizations out there and every year recognize them, recognizing them with the Burrell Award. So we envision that next year, a year from, a year from right now, uh, gathering everyone together and recognizing uh, the best nonprofits and those individuals helping out veterans the most uh, by criteria that we set up and we judge and then awarding them with the, an award, but not only a piece of paper, or a trophy, but actual actual vet coin and funds um, to help uh, make their mission that better. So, I learned a long time ago uh, in the army. At least my my experience was you can do one of two things when you're fighting a fight. Right, you can reinforce failure or reinforce success. I've always had the most most luck personally reinforcing success. So what we want to do is find those that are having the biggest impact, having the most success, and reinforce success and make them make them even better. So that that's our that's our ultimate goal. So th that's kind of that's kind of way the way we things are structured. Uh, we think it's good, and uh, you know that's a. Uh, and then well, one more thing I like to mention too is if you own Bitcoin, we also think that uh, as this, as we go forward, the portion that you own will allow you to vote and participate in our community. So we're not just leading this thing. We want the community, uh, whether this be a grassroots effort, and have the entire community. Uh, decide who are the most deserving uh, veterans charities are that are out there and award them appropriately. So this is truly a community effort. We're sort of the care holders or stake careholders of it, the caretakers of it. But we want this. We want everyone to be involved. And really, where VetCoin goes is going to be up to all of us, not just one of us. Thanks, Aaron. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this last question over to Elmer. So Elmer, um, two things. One. Could you kind of let the audience know, like, how extensive is the U.S. veteran community in the Philippines, and what is your connection to that community? And then, how can uh, listeners stay connected with with Vetcoin um, to to stay on top of the ecosystem? Okay, so we all know it's no secret that um, we have a very long history together. Uh, the U.S. and Philippine Armed Forces. Uh, we fought together in World War II and, and we have been allies for the longest time. And um, of course, uh, there's a huge uh, veteran community here in the Philippines and my good friend and uh, former ambassador, Harry, uh, Harry Thomas, uh, who is also a member of our board, um, has been an, an ambassador here in the Philippines. So uh, he, he knows better than I do. <laughs> he knows more about it than I do. But of course, um, on a personal level, I've been uh, in touch with a lot of uh, veterans, uh, not only here, but also uh, in other countries, and also in the United States, um, because um, I've been very active with my, with my Rotary Club. So, in Rotary, there everywhere in the world, there are a lot of veterans, not only American veterans, but also from other countries uh, that are veterans, of which 
um, like what Alex mentioned, um, this is starting with the U.S. veterans, but this is not exclusive to U.S. veterans. We'll be uh, helping everybody, veterans from all over the world. We have been discussing about this and in, in many of our uh, past meetings that we will be opening up like, like the, the ranks, the, the ranks from, from the Philippines, from uh, Japan, Korea, everywhere. So we'll be opening those um, to include everybody. So that's one of our uh, purposes here, our objectives, um, not only to uh, to a close circle, but we want to be able to help as many people as we want, or as many as we can. So um, in that note, um, I would also like to uh, take this opportunity to thank Harry, because uh, Harry was uh, the one who, who connected me to, to, to you guys. So, um, and this is becoming a very good bond. Um, uh, this VETCON is starting from a place of friendship uh, between all of us. And of course, uh, I also want to thank uh, the whole team because this is a team effort. Um, there's nothing that I could have done uh, by myself. So uh, everybody has uh, something to bring into the table, uh, expertise um, in many different fields. So um, there is where you will get also the value of working with veterans, uh, not just you guys, but also those who fought in uh, wars in, in World War II, uh, what do we need from them? It's experience. Because experience is something that you don't learn in school. <laughs> so it's something that you learn from real life experiences. Then uh, we can apply them in our present uh, to make our future better. So of course, uh, that's one of the things that we need to do here, not just about the crypto and everything else, but one of the best things is to connect. So when we make those connections, um, we, will, we will all uh, become better persons. Uh, we will learn from each other's experiences and uh, make the world a better place. Thank you. And the best way to stay connected to that point. The, the, the best way to get connected to Vetcoin is to buy Vetcoins. <laughs> So, because when you buy your vet coins, we will keep you engaged. Uh, like what I mentioned, you will have secret missions. So those classified missions, uh, they will contain um, simple instructions wherein it's inevitable. You will be able to connect with us, um, with your loved ones, because not only with us, we will not take too much of your time, but we will also give you chance to spend time with your families, which is very important, uh, especially for, for active service men and women uh, who have been away from, from home. Uh, now you will have the time to spend time with your family. So we want to uh, give you the, the, the best opportunities. Uh, we want to give everybody actually the best opportunities that, uh, that we could give. But of course, it would be up to them if they will take it or not. So what we can give is opportunities, but we cannot force them to take them. So the best way to get connected is to buy VET coins. Because when you buy VET coins, uh, you will not just be connected, but of course, uh, you'll have a better life uh, in, uh, as a whole. Thank you. Uh, so for everybody who's tuned in, um, this is my last moment to have a of a few words. So I'd just like to thank everyone that, that uh, connected today. Um, so if you're celebrating Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, or Armistice Day, or just taking a day or time out of your regular day to join us this, this morning, uh, thank you very much. And we wish you the very best. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to the Bitcoin Foundation President, Dr. Aaron Bazin. Uh, sir, the floor is yours for closing remarks. Thank you, Russ. Great job moderating today. Great, great ceremony. Um, so I, just, I got a few just closing comments, uh, a lot of a lot of great uh, discussion already. Uh, but the first and most important thing I want to say is, is 
is about you all that have joined us today. Thank you for joining us um, in this endeavor. Thank you for dialing in, but also thank you for, for, for your interest in Bitcoin and owning Bitcoin. And really at the end of the day, the strength of Bitcoin, whether it's worth a fraction of a penny, a penny or a dollar or whatever, it's all gonna be dependent on you. So I just wanna say that you are the strength of Bitcoin. Um, and trust me, we need you to get the word out. So if you have friends, if you have family that are interested um, in our mission, in helping us out, please get the word out. Um, but again, thank you for joining us and thank you for being part of our team and sticking with us uh, through this so far. Um, I wanna tell a quick story about why I'm involved in Beckpoint and why I care about it. Um, and this is not just my story, it's everybody's story because everyone has story, every veteran has stories like this. Um, when, I left the, when I left the military after my time, uh, it's a big change. You know, you usually enter as a young man or woman and it, that's who you are, that's your identity. And you sort of, once you leave the service, you, you're sort of out there and you don't know what's going on and it's, you have to find your way. Um, there's a friend of mine, a close, I won't say his name, but he's a close family friend. Uh, he served in the first part of Desert Storm uh, as a Marine, uh, served one term honorably. Uh, no problems, no issues, stellar Marine, combat veteran and all that. He came back, left the military. And then since then, in the past uh, 20 plus years, he sort of has lo lost his way. And how it happens is not all at once. You just don't wake up one day and you have addiction or you're homeless. Or it it's a series of small choices, small decisions that start with leaving that community and then try not being able to find your get your feet under you. So he had a problem with addiction, um, uh, relationships, unable to keep a job, and sort of he, he's at kind of he got to the point where he's in his late 40s, and this lifestyle is caught up caught up with him, and he had some medical issues, and uh, I got wind of this, and I just gone to the VA and met some people there that really helped me out, and so I I heard about it, and I'm like, hey, you need to go talk to this person, not just go down the VA, not just call, but you need to talk to this person. And lo and behold, uh, he's gotten services, he's gotten access to things that he hadn't before. And that that's what this is all about, is connecting to veterans that, that are out there that may not have, um, may not have uh, the benefit of a support system or have lost their way for whatever reason. So we don't wanna leave our fallen comrades behind. And to me, that's, that's the most important thing is, is for, this, for this to give back. Um, the last thing that I, 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 when you join us, when you come part of the Vetcoin uh, family, Vetcoin team that I wanna talk about is really our value proposition. Now in, in preparing this endeavor, we've all read a lot of white papers and done a lot of research, but I challenge you to find a white paper out there of a cryptocurrency that states its core values up front. And my promise to you all is that we're gonna uphold our core values and that they spell out service uh, like an acronym. You know, of course we have to have an acronym because we're in the military, but it begins with selfless business model and we put the veterans welfare first. Uh, second is E for empathy. Empathy is understand others and their perspectives. R, resilience to overcome challenge. B is for visionary approaches that meet the future head on. I is for integrity and transparency in everything we do. C is in courtesy towards all, regardless of religion, race, or creed. And then finally, E is empowering veterans and those who support the veterans community. So as we go through this thing, uh, what I promise you is that we will stay true to these core values and keep this on, keep this on track. And I, I, again, I challenge you, I challenge anyone out there to find a cryptocurrency that has core values, much less uh, uh, states, you know, states them uh, publicly. But we are glad to have you. Again, what we need you to do, trust me, get the word out. Um, get, let people know that we're out there and uh, this is going to be a success. So I'm super excited. And like I said, we'll see you all here uh, one year from today to do the first Burrell Award. And uh, please get the word out and uh, let us know any problems you have. We're here to help. We're here to make this make this thing work. So thank you so much for your time. And uh, I'll, I'll close it there. All right. Thank you all. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you.